Welcome to the Ron Pertee Show this week. Anthony Melton from Bloody Cuts is going to talk about the big Bloody Cuts contest where you can win like $13,000 worth of prizes. It's, uh, it's an awesome thing. So if you're a filmmaker, check out this interview. We talk a lot of, about a lot of cool stuff. And, uh, and you can find out how you can enter and how you can win and how Joe Dante will, might look at your film. But you're probably wondering why I'm not in front of the computer and I'm here by my door. It's because I decided that here on the show I'm going to take you on a journey. That journey is... Me broadening my horizons. And what better way to start broadening my horizons than to look out the window. So if you'll join me on this fantastic trip to, to the front door. This is how I'm starting to broaden my horizons. So bear with me. It's scary. So scary. Here's my interview with Anthony Melton. Anthony Milton, finally, Hello? sir. Hello, worlds. Yes. Yeah, sir. Um, I'm good. How are you? Yeah, really well, really well. I uh, had a busy day today, but uh, it's good to be sitting down, which is good. Um, but yeah, uh, great to be on again, a uh, second time. I yes. feel very privileged. Thank you very much. No problem. Now, let's talk Bloody Cuts, because that's the big thing. You guys are, like, famous now, like, hugely famous. Oh, I don't know about famous. I mean, well, you know. I mean, you just have Joe Dante judging your contest, and uh, <laughs> you know uh, the guys who who uh, uh, you know the, the director of the collector and the collection. You know, uh, Marcus Dunstan. And, and no, we don't have any. No, we're not famous at all. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, I think um, I think we're at the position now where uh, a bunch of people are kind of noticing. Uh, some of the stuff that we're doing, and I think that all of the guys, uh, uh, Joe Dante, Marcus, Patrick Melton, Drew Daywalt, Gail Antherd, Soskas, uh, Sam McCurdy, you can tell I'm reading it's bad, isn't it? Ryan uh, Connolly, Neil Gordon, Skip, Scott Peggs, they're all, uh, I think, not necessarily waving a huge flag for us, although we, we, you know, we're kind of them. I think what they've seen with this particular uh, competition is that we're doing something that's pretty cool uh, for young filmmakers, so... I guess that um, the the competition that we're launching, uh, which is called Who's There, which is a worldwide film competition based around that loose uh, that loose concept of basically making a three minute horror short uh, and interpreting the two words Who's There, however you wish. Anyway, they've they've chosen to support this uh, uh, for I think benefit of young filmmakers rather than you know giving us a huge uh, thumbs up. But it's nice that they've said yeah, we'll. Uh, you know, we'll support you. That's been cool. What uh, What was it like? I mean, the guy, Joe Dante, for you know, he directed Gremlins for crying out loud. I mean, what was it like contacting him? It's like, hey, you want to judge our stuff? Well, I mean, uh, huge thanks go to Johnny Franklin, who is uh, one of the members of Birdie Cups, one of the founding members. Uh, he just got online and just started hammering people, hammering agents, I think. And uh, I think uh, most of the folks that we've uh, met there, Joe, definitely, and. Uh, I think uh, Sam McCurdy uh, sort of been slightly in contact with Johnny before, so um, yeah, Johnny is is normally a pretty casual cat, and uh, he just uh, dropped us an email and just went, oh yeah, yeah, uh, Joe Dante's uh, up for it. So and uh, Ben and I were just like, what? That's really cool news. It's so it's so inspiring because uh, Joe Dante, uh, I think, it made uh, a lot of inspirational stuff in both of our childhoods and all three of our childhoods and uh, David Scully as well one of the writers so uh, that was really uh, I don't know flattering I suppose and humbling and amazing uh, and uh, but not, not to say that you know equally everybody else that's got on board are uh, we're huge fans of everyone that we've managed to sort of capture in snare uh, stick in the barbed wire so it's been really been fantastic um, uh, and obviously you know having Neil Gorton continuing to support us uh, with Millennium Effects is just um the superb, superb, and uh, yeah, it's cool. So um, uh, hopefully, uh, that will be a great incentive for uh, a series of uh, young filmmakers, old filmmakers, crusty filmmakers, new filmmakers, whatever, uh, to sort of get involved and be inspired to to get some of the 
you know horror greats, horror icons, I suppose, to, to check out their check out their work. I mean, that's uh, that's, that's amazing to, to know that those guys have even sniffed around our work. It's been fantastic. So uh, it's awesome to know that they're going to be watching uh, some, not all, uh, but some of the uh, entrance to the Who's There competition. So ace. Before we before I we get into the background of the competition, I just have to yeah. say one of the reasons that I might not enter isn't right. it, yeah I might not enter yeah and uh, have. I have to yeah I think it's a prerequisite at this point but uh, mm. is because like let's just say for instance someone like a Joe Dante sees my work and thinks it's garbage you know what I'm saying and it, it, that's what that's the only thing I do you, do you get the feeling that anybody else is going to feel that way. I think that's a very cynical thing for someone to do that's judging a competition. And I don't think anyone on our panel would do that. We've always said one of the things to do if you want to be a filmmaker is get out there and make a film. Making a film doesn't make you a bad filmmaker. It just makes you a filmmaker to start off with and you can get better or, you know, or get worse. I don't care. But like the idea is that, you know, you should want to for me, anyway, personally, I want to go and make films, and having people see them is amazing. Of course, you want people to like what you do, but fundamentally, you shouldn't be put off by naysayers and haters and all that kind of rubbish. Because at the end of the day, what do they know? You know, are they making films? I know. In the instance of saying, you know, should you be depressed because Joe Dante may uh, shit can your work? Um, for one, he's not going to. Uh, I don't think anyone would be that rude. I don't think it would be that you know that that harsh to your you know to sort of up and coming filmmakers that are trying to like get somewhere. I don't think that would happen. And ultimately, you know, what we are going to end up doing is we will end up sending uh, a uh, you know a sort of a, a condensed version uh, of of the films that, that we're going to receive to him. So uh, you know, Ron, if it's that bad, we just won't send it to him. <laughs> well, there you go. There you go. That's fantastic. So, I mean, that's not the case at all. But you know, obviously, we we're gonna hopefully get thousands of entries, uh, and you know, with good folks like yourself, um, you know, obviously, you know, giving us a bit of coverage for this, uh, you know, we will encourage lots and lots of people to enter. So we can't. Uh, the folks uh, that are judging uh, the competition uh, are very busy people. So if we go, here you go. Here's uh, here's ten thousand. Maybe that's too much. But here's a thousand uh, films to go and watch. They're just going to probably have a meltdown and. Um, not do it so uh so uh i don't know maybe they will maybe we'll get a thousand fantastic amazing amazing films and then what uh, will happen to trailers from hell if joe dante has a meltdown uh well indeed indeed but I, i'm sure he won't he's, he's a very cool character one of the coolest characters well that's good uh, to hear as are, as are uh, everybody else, really. I think i um, hugely thankful that uh, Marcus Dunstan and Patrick Melton are on board, sort of representing, I suppose, the, the, the sort of Hollywood Los Angeles writing department, I suppose. And then, you know, Drew, Drew DeWalt is a uh, you know, huge proponent of independent cinema. He inspired us uh, with um, Bedfellows to actually kind of get creating bloody cuts in the first place. Me too, yeah. So, uh, you know, and then Gail Ann Hurd, what more can I say about that uh, wonderful lady? Uh, you know, obviously, huge background in genre, um, is inspired, you know, from the biggest, you know, hugest kind of uh, big budget stuff to the smallest stuff. And now, obviously, Walking Dead is that little program that she's got going on there. That's well, I've never heard of that show. What is the Walking, yeah, what's the Walking Dead? I mean, I thought there's a show about old people. Is, is that right? Um, I, I don't. I, I don't heard know. about a new soap opera on AMC, but uh, that's, that's neither here nor there. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, don't know. I don't agree with that, but um, there you go. I mean, it's it has drama in it, and it has horror in it, and it's great. I do, um, I do prefer the comic, but that's just me. Well, a different thing, maybe. I don't know. Let's not get stuck on that one. But obviously, yeah. there's, uh, <laughs> have, um, you know, the 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 um, Jen and Sylvia, uh, the Soska uh, sisters. They obviously joined us as well. I mean, they're obviously representing, I suppose, you know, new and successful uh, uh, kind of horror talent there. So that's kind of cool. Uh, Sam McCurdy, genius, fantastic cinematographer, is there as well. Uh, it's going to be great to have his uh, lens. Uh, and I uh, on everybody's entries because he's got a real uh, you know craft and a real um, a real sort of I guess understanding of what makes uh, cinema look great. Uh, Ryan Connolly, um, oh, yes. we're massive huge fans of that man, uh, and we're very 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 happy that he's on board with this. I mean, obviously he supports kind of lower budget stuff, and he supports like do it yourself attitude films, and gives everybody the assets and the resources to do so online you know mainly for free and there's loads of cool stuff that he does so that's just you know i mean if you're going to make a film for who's there pop on over to film right and see what's going on at 
uh, you know, in their kind of vaults and departments because he's got a hell of a lot of stuff to offer. Um, the filmmakers there, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Neil as well, superb. Uh, fantastic that he's there to l look, cast his evil uh, kind of <laughs> aesthetics eye upon everybody's uh, gruesome work. And uh, last but not least, of course, uh, Mr. Beggs. Um, you know, he's fantastic to spread word. He's doing that. He's got a huge resource for his film school there, and it's just fantastic to have him topping the top in the judging panel off really it's just been you know we're just over the moon with the support that we're getting here and obviously the uh, support that everybody that enters is going to receive too now what made you guys want to do the contest um well i mean obviously we um we started out uh, as as a collective bloody cut started from a film that we made called two years of summer which was for a uh, science fiction 48-hour film challenge that we did uh, t two and a half years ago. It feels like 25 years ago, to be quite honest with you, but um, it was two and a half years ago we did that. Really enjoyed it, and it brought together uh, most of the Bloody Cuts team, or certainly the core of it, um, all, all who are still, you know, still working with us, working in Bloody Cuts today, which is kind of cool. So basically we got to the point where uh, this summer we've, had, uh, we've been developing a load of stuff, and uh, we've kind of, I, I guess the next episode for Bloody Cuts was a few months away yet. So Ben and I sat in uh, his back garden uh, over the summer and said, you yeah, know, we should do something that's kind of going to fill this gap. Something small, something like take much time. Uh, <laughs> no. Yeah, uh, so, um, so we decided to do uh, a, a film competition that has grown exponentially into what it is now. Um, but we really liked the idea because obviously it was what brought us together it's what excited us in the first place. So the size of the competition now is only a sort of representation of, of uh, the excitement that we have for it and for filmmaking. So, um, so yeah, that's that. That's why. Awesome. Now, my last question for you, because I know you're a busy, busy man, <laughs> is what is your favorite Bloody Cut short and what is your least favorite? I can't possibly uh, start to segment them out. I think they rep they all are excellent. They all represent a progression of our um, a learning, I suppose, from point one. Bloody Cuts has always been a film school for all of us, and I think that uh, getting to this point, each film represents a step in us becoming better filmmakers, I think. Um, we've always tried to say that whilst directors on particular projects are obviously the director of that project and they steer it and they put a lot of input and sway into it that fundamentally the, the films are never about the director don't move is certainly not a film by anthony melton it's a film by bloody cuts that i directed you know that's the way that goes right i think the you know in terms of enjoyment i think i think that there's been different roles have been given different challenges so i think dead man's lake is it was it was a fantastic uh, it's a fantastic product. I think making it was one of the biggest challenges uh, that we've had, but that was due to acts of nature. So um, that was not a particularly enjoyable process making the film, but the end result was fantastic. So I don't know, it's mix and match. I couldn't possibly, you know, possibly hold it out. And I think that even going back to uh, Lock Up, which is something that I wasn't actually involved in the shooting of that. I mean, I really love Lock Up for what it represents in terms of you know, it was it was the crew made that in about four or five hours, um, and it it was the first film that kicked it all off. You know, so right. that's that's up there. Well, there you go. And people can find out at uh, what's the website? It's oh. Okay, so you can uh, get involved with the Who's There uh, uh, Horror Film Challenge by Bloody Cats by going to uh, www.bc horrorchallenge.com or .co.uk uh, we've bought everything we've bought all the URLs so, so crash on over there um, the, the website is a one pager and it will tell you all about how to enter the rules the judges the prizes which we've not talked about yet we should probably just have a quick conversation about that yes, uh, and and um, and you know there's a bunch of uh, frequently asked questions there but you'll also find on the site a little introduction video where myself Ben and Johnny embarrass ourselves completely by trying to uh, nail a, a one take uh, presentation to camera which we of course don't do like we never do uh, and then you'll also find a short three minute uh, film called Dare which is made by uh, directed by Ben and I and made by a cut down version of the Bloody Cuts team just as a representation of the sort of thing we're looking for so uh, check that out too uh, that's there um, all of this is reiterated in probably a more uh, understandable and uh, uh, and, and 
and straightforward English way um, uh, on the site, but do check it out. And also there's a bunch of frequently asked questions on there. Um, we do have a few caveats to our competition, so do make sure that you read everything to make sure that you're not, you know, like for example, you can't submit a film you've already made. Uh, it has to be an original piece of content, you know, and, uh, you know, you need to make sure that each film has, uh, you know, our title plate inserted into it, so it sort of separates that, and there's a few, there's a few rules, you need to follow them, and it's not huge amounts, but just make sure you follow each one, and then, and then we'll make sure that that film gets in front of the judges, and, uh, and yeah, we'll, 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 we'll see you in two months' time. <laughs> and, and real quick, if you win, yeah, you, good lord, the, the, the amount of prizes that you win is, I've never seen a contest this big. Okay, so uh, yeah, not to mention the judges, we also had a uh, huge, huge uh, support from a series of sponsors. And for the sake this is going to go out, I'm just going to read them out if that's all right, and I'll do it quickly. Just to, so we've got Millennium FX, Sample Mats, Glide Cam, Lube Masters, Fetch Publicity, Colorist, Flight School, Grind School, Editor Keys, Kessler, uh, Crane, Mixing Light, Pixie Pixel, Atomos, Red Giant, Screen, Take Two, Road Microphones, Rain, Dance Film Festival, On Site, Fright Rags, Flander Scientific, Carry Dog, Boris FX, Film School, Rejects, Ripple Training, Rampant Design Tools, American Cinematographer Magazine, Red Rock Micro, Us Ourselves, Celtex, Boom Library, shooting people. Right, that's done. Okay, uh, so they're, they're going to sponsor us for all of our uh, prizes that we've got. And, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. And uh, we've got a huge amount. We've got a first, uh, first prize that's just now up to just under £10,000 worth of cool filmmaking kit. We didn't, uh, there, you know, there's some magazines and resources in there, but we didn't want to get a bunch of stuff that is just not useful for filmmakers. So go onto the site and check that out. Some huge stuff there for first, second prize is about. So, uh, one five, and then third prize is about six hundred dollars. On top of that, there's there's ten separate awards that are being uh, given from the Bloody Cuts team, uh, and there's some huge, huge stuff there. So just go through that and make sure that you know you may not win the main competition, but you may do something fantastic with sound. Um, so we might award you just specifically for that. So check that out. Uh, we also have, I mean, there's some huge prizes there. The grading prize, which is actually being judged by MixingLight.com and uh, something that came to us through Tower of Color and uh, you know our, our chaps do the grading for us. Um, there's a Flanders Scientific Monitor there itself that is I'm not going to quote the value of it, but it's got a very huge price tag on it. So if you're interested in grading uh, and uh, or you want to learn grading, uh, you can get over to uh, Tau of Color uh, and then look at mixinglight.com. And all these people have got a bunch of real cool uh, uh, techniques and training videos and stuff on there that you can get on board with. And then if you apply that to stuff, you know, your grading talents that you already have, you could be in a chance of winning a really, really fantastic uh, Find a scientific monitor, and they are the business. They're the best monitors you'll get for sort of filmmaking, editing, post production. Really. So anyway, ramble, ramble. So that's it. <laughs> that's the go. long. And then you can always go back and watch all of the Bloody Cuts films at bloodycuts.co.uk. They're all up Still. there. And uh, well, Anthony, thank you so much. It's not a problem. Sir. And this is this is number two. We'll have to go for three when the competition's over. Oh, absolutely. Well, when we get the judges going on, we'll uh, we'll when the judgment process is finished, we'll we'll do a wrap up and uh, yeah, there's some cool stuff happening. Awesome. Thank you so much. Cheers, buddy. Thank you. Oh, you scared me. Sorry about that. Uh, no, no, there's things out there. Scary. Real scary. Thanks for watching. BJ McDonald next week. We'll see you later. Bye bye.